and in this question you can see they are saying that what is the probability that a randomly selected bit string a randomly selected bit string of length 10 is a palindrome or not it is a palindrome or not so for this see let us see if we uh, if we take a string and how when can we say that string is a palindrome if we have string like this 11011 now here you can say this string is a palindrome why because if you read from the left direction or if you read from the right you'll read the same string now if you have a string like this one 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 zero zero one 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 so even if you read from the left or even if you read from the right uh, it will say the string is exactly the same but what is the difference between these two strings is that this string is of odd length and this string is of even length even length and here the length they are giving is exactly even length it is not an odd length now if you say there are 10 combinations there are, there are 10 combinations of ones are present so assuming these blocks are representing those 10 combinations 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 now when I say the string is a palindrome that means if we check if we take any combination of the first five string that exact same combination should also be present here like if you have a combination 1 1 0 0 1 then this exact same combination should be present here in a reversed order like this 1 1 0 0 1 now you can see these strings are repeating themselves so therefore this complete is representing a palindrome this complete is representing a palindrome okay now if this complete is representing a palindrome then you can see uh, this this first five should be exactly equal to the last five now what are the different combinations which are present for the first five strings so here we have two choices it can take two uh, combinations that is either it can take zero or it can take a value one this can take two values this can take two values this can take two values and this can take two values all these combinations can take two different values of or uh, you can say two different combinations why because it is a bit string so a bit can be zero or it can be one so in total these five combinations there are two raised to power five such combinations are present that is two into two into two into two that means for the first five uh, bits there are two raised to power five such combinations are present and those exact combinations should also be here and in total if you check in total there are two raised to power ten combinations which can be there now if a string uh, then now if you want to see how many strings are there which are palindrome so this can be written as two raised to power ten divide by 2 raised to power 5 right so because all these exact same combinations should also be present here so which is equal to 2 raised to power 5 therefore you can say which is okay so i should write it i should have written like this because uh, they are saying probability they are saying what is the probability that randomly selected string is a uh, palindrome so probability so what does probability is uh, the number of favorable events divide by total number of events so here we have 2 raised to power 5 combinations which can be there which are representing a palindrome and total we have 2 raised to power 10 combinations so we are having 2 raised to power 5 divided by 2 raised to power 10 which is 1 upon 2 raised to power 10 minus 5 which is 1 upon 2 raised to power 5 or 1 upon 32 so if we select a string randomly then it is it is 1 upon 32 probability that that particular string is a palindrome of length 10 therefore you can see here the answer is option number 2 uh, which is 1 upon 2 raised to power 32 and this question was asked in UGC net CSE 28th August 2016 now let us look at the question number 5